Hi, uh, so I haven't posted in a while, so I'm going to post. I just posted, but oops. Uh, I'm going to do two because yeah, I haven't been here in a while. So I just thought of this for like anybody who needs help drawing certain parts of it. I draw cats and dragons, and that's it. And if you want professional help, don't come to me because I'm not a professional. I think that's obvious. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to give, like, small tutorials on how to do stuff. And if it doesn't work out for you, you just, I guess, find professional help. I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm going to do eyes. And you guys can, like, say in the comments. Sorry, there's a piece of dirt on the screen. Okay. And you guys can see in the comments, like, uh, what uh, you want me to do next or something. God, these two. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I, it's not me, uh. It's just dirty. Okay. So I'm going to start. So there's like a couple ways to do eyes that I do. It's not a couple. It's just two. Uh, so the first one is, I don't know, just in case it might be easier for you. It might be easier. So it's like to make a circle. And depending on how big you want the eye to be, it's how big you want the circle to be. So let's say I want to make like a happy eye, I guess. I don't know. Uh... It would be relatively small, but not too small. Like, not, how do I put this? Like, for, like, just happy in general, not surprised or anything, you'd put, like, like an average size eye, maybe a bit bigger. So then when you're doing that, you'd put a line over, God, you put a line over that, like this. I'm not doing really good. I swear I know how to draw eyes. Okay. You draw it like this. It looks weird compared to... God, what am I doing? Okay. So you put lines like this, sort of. It doesn't look too good right now. And, like, if you don't like the shape you made, you can just, like, edit the shape. This is what I'm doing right now. It's better when you do it on paper. This style. I'm not gonna lie. Because paper has more support. Okay, I don't want to make the edges so sharp. You shouldn't do that unless you want, like... This is, like, a villain. I'm not trying to make a villain right now, though. I'm going to make one of my OCs. Uh, her name is Water Kit. She's not River Clan Cat, by the way. Uh, Thunder Clan. I don't care what other people say. Thunder Clan is my favorite cat. Our favorite clan. I know it's like the most basic clan, but like, I just don't care. Uh, so anyways, you'll erase the circle once you made the shape. It's basically just two lines on top of it, of the circle like that. It's the amount I kind of want. So if this, you can like, it, I want to make the eye straight, so there you go. Okay. You know, okay, uh, so then, so I'm going to make her happy. Which, uh, if you were making her angry, you'd make the eye, one second, to erase, the eye smaller, or scared would be smaller. But, like, happy, like, uh, it would be, uh, bigger. Okay, let's make this looking forward. Okay. See, so, yeah, and then the pupil... It'd be kind of like this. I don't know. I always struggle with the people. There's two things I struggle with while drawing cats. It's the people and paws. I don't know why. Oh, and the mouth. Uh, yeah, that, that also. It's hard for me. Okay, anyway, so you color that in. Sorry. It's great if you don't color it in. Okay, so you might want to make the pupil bigger. And for happier, maybe rounder. Because, you know, cats do have that weird eye. People, I forgot. Uh, yeah, they have that weird eye thing. So, yeah, we're just gonna make the pupil a bit rounder. Probably maybe bigger if they're gonna be happy. Okay, so uh, my OC water kit has two different colored eyes, like her mom, which is my main OC. Uh, 
Um, and it's like, she basically has heterochromia. If anybody knows what that is, it's where you have uh, two different colored eyes. It's where mom has. So she has like one uh, brown eye or amber eye, I guess. It's kind of like that. And one blue eye. So I'm just going to draw her blue eye for this one. Okay, by the way, if you're not going to do any color, just do this. And then color the top half. A color, I don't want to do this. Oh, God, okay. Uh, just like, let me make this lighter. Cause it's got to be lighter than the people. For, like, reasons. So you can tell where the pupil is. I don't know. That, that's what I do, at least. Okay, this is... This is. You can't, uh, color fill, God. Okay, one sec. God, okay. This is just taking forever. Okay. So now, now if you get that. This is if you're not doing it in color. I'll probably just end up erasing this, so. Okay. Get it back to its original color thing. Okay, now the size pen I usually use is like a 20. The size for it is like a 20. You can choose whatever though. Okay, so then you add the highlights. And they kind of bring the highlights. So my cat's going to be happy, so I'm going to give her one sec. Let me fix these. Give her big highlights, not too big because uh, they just look weird then. But like decent ones, decently big ones. Okay, she's happy. Okay, and then like, I'm going to give her like, like, okay, so she's saying she's smiling really big, so like, that. Okay, it's kind of hard to show without the face, but I guess that kind of looks like she's happy. Is that, uh, that's good? Now, if you're doing color, you just make the topper one darker and then the uh, other one, the color you want the eye to be. Yeah. Okay, and then we can, um, I'm gonna quick draw a sad eye for you to show you how to do it. And then an angry eye, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so let's go with an angry eye for now, for right now. Let me show you. Okay, so the angry eye would be bigger, not that big. Uh, one sec. But, like, relatively bigger than that. Okay, got it. I swear, unlike paper, I can do this one part. Okay, now we're just gonna fix that up. Just the edges, because I don't like the edges. Okay, um. Whoa. So basically, you just make the eye bigger. We erase the circle because it makes it look ugly right now. Okay, I'm gonna fix some of the edges. God, okay. Yeah, see, I still, still struggle with this stuff, so you might want to not take full advice from me, just like some basic tips. I got this from somebody else, my teacher. Uh, think I did. Anyways, uh, so for this, you'd make the eyes smaller. I'm gonna make the eye really small. Like, depending on how scared they are, you can make the eye different sizes. I don't like that. I'm going to get, a bit, like, a tiny bit bigger. Okay, then you make the pupil really small. I 
I don't like how small that is. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger real quick. Okay, so that kind of looks better. I'm gonna make it crying because this ain't a good. This is. Wait, is this angry? Okay, never mind. So, you'd add this right here. Oh, no, not that big. So, like, when cats are mad or any creature, basically, they get this snarl, like, the skin's drawn up. You make this. Okay, so basically that's it. I'm creating it for what you're looking at. And no color this time because uh, I don't actually want to color it. Uh, yeah, because I'm lazy. Okay, you can't like fill color pencil for some reason. That's why I gotta do that. Okay, eraser. Oh god, that's too big. For like angry, you'd make the highlight smaller. You still want it because it gives the life. You only never do highlights if. In two reasons. One, uh, if the character's looking really creepy, just like for a second. Slash, they're getting possessed. That That's only. only big. That's the only reason. Wait, wait. Hi. Someone, my brother walked into the room. Saying that's the only reason you should really ever not give them highlights. But I guess if you don't want to, you don't have to. So like, I'm not telling, here to tell you what to do. Anyways, he left. Okay, so yeah, that's how you make an angry eye and then a sad eye. Depending on, so if it's like. Uh, so, here, let me just copy this real quick, because I'm too lazy to, one sec, let me copy and paste. Okay, so this, it's like an angry sad, you just add tears, basically. Excuse me. Okay, by the way, I'd get rid of... I know tears are transparent, but it kind of looks better when you get rid of that line, in my opinion. By the way, everybody knows how to use the occupancy... Oh, God. This thing, you know, that changes how it shows up. Got okay, the, Like this. Am I on or right? Yeah, okay. And then... Go, okay. Next, you have this, you know. Changes to can see. Anyways, I can't even know. I don't even know. Okay, anyways. It's like. So this is like angry sad. It, it's so, okay. It's angry sad. And then the tears are just lines for me. But if you want to make it look more realistic, go for it. I'm not really putting too much effort into this one. Okay, and then for a happy one. You get rid of that little thing because it makes you look happy. And I mean, we ain't making this one look happy. Okay, so is it just me? I, I, I was in my class yesterday. And my teacher said that whenever you're drawing something, you tend to make the expression, sorry for the noise, uh, expression of uh, what uh, you're drawing. It, I mean, yeah, that happens to me. I want to know if that's just, like, this, just my class, because a lot of people agree to that. Is that just us? Because I feel like that happens. Or, like, you're watching a TV show. And, uh, you make the face the character's making. It's weird. Uh, yeah, one sec. Uh, okay, that's the color wheel. One sec.